Kabongo, welcome to Chessfield. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, it feels great. It feels great. I mean, driving up here, you can obviously see how big the club is. Um, yeah, nice. No, great club. A club that shouldn't be at the level. So, yeah, it feels good. And what would you say is your main influence to come here? Is it the manager? Is it the fans? Is it the stadium? What, what sort of drove you to come to Chessfield FC? Um, just mainly that the club shouldn't be at this level, you know. Um, but obviously, I've known a manager obviously been pursuing me for quite a while now. So, um, that's obviously good as a player. You want to be at a place where you're wanted. But obviously with that and obviously the size of the club, the fans and seeing how many that they get in the ground, yeah, it's going to be a great outcome. And it must give you real confidence knowing yeah. that a manager wants you to track you for a while now. Mm -hmm. It's finally got the deal over the line. It must give you so much confidence going into the new season. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, for for Akhrani Suite, for, for all us players, that's what we want. You know, at the end of the day, you want to be in an environment where you're sort of wanted. Um, he's shown that interest, you know, not just throughout the summer, throughout last year as well, to be fair. But um, luckily, it, you know, it's all done now. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead. So you spent quite a number of years in the lower leagues around. So Boring would be in your, your last club. Yeah. So how was your time there? And, and what sort of is the decision to, to move away from there? Yeah, my time there was great. My time there is great. I mean, I enjoyed every minute of it, um, you know, part um a large part of the reason that's why I went and wood in the first place was to get minutes, you know, was to play men's football and enjoy myself, you know, they gave me a great time and obviously now now it's time to kick on here and, you know, show everyone here what I can do. And how big of a factor was, was James Rowe in your yeah, in your yeah. move to the Spy Rights? No, nah, he was really, really big, obviously. I've, I've been obviously doing up my research on him, obviously how he is as a manager and seeing his style of play and seeing how that can, you know, sort of help me and improve my game. Obviously, I've spoken to a few of the lads that obviously have, that have worked with him in the past and he said that he's very good at improving players. So I'm just looking to get down and, you know, work with him. Hopefully, he improves my game as a player myself. And what do you know about Chessfield as a club? Um, just a club that shouldn't be at this level. A club that shouldn't be at this level. I mean, you only have to see, look at the stadium, obviously, the city, the fan base. You know that the club, you know, deserves to be back in the Football League. So that's going to be the aim. And it must be a privileged signing for a club this of this stature in yeah. the National League and hopefully obviously aiming, aiming high this season. But it must feel a privilege as a player to be able to sign for a club like this. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. It feels, it feels, it feels big. Obviously, the, like I keep saying, obviously the fan base is obviously quite big. So they obviously deserve to be back in the EFL. It's our job as players to obviously provide that for them this season. And it's fair to say you've got a, a really consistently good goal scoring record yeah. at this level. And I assume that's something you're really hoping that could, you can carry on yeah. uh, throughout next season and, and beyond. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, obviously, I've had the platform to obviously play week in and week out throughout the last sort of two years at Boreham Wood and obviously o o Oxford City as well gave me that chance. So I'm just going to look to come here, you know, keep playing my games and obviously the goals will come. Because obviously, I have a firm belief in myself that um, I can score a lot of goals at this club. And what would you describe as your best attributes as a player? Um, best attribute would probably obviously be the obvious goals that I provide to the team. But, you know, first and foremost, obviously, you have to always work hard and you have to think about the team first and foremost. Obviously, if I have to provide a lot of work rate for the team to sort of help us get through the line for assist, I don't know, just try to help to the best of my ability. But obviously, everyone knows the strength is obviously my, uh, my the goal side to my games. So obviously, you've played against Chesterfield quite a few times yeah. in the past for, for various different clubs. So when you've played against us before, as a player, is that is that a big influence? Do you think back on the times that you've played against Chesterfield yeah. and does that help you know help make your decision? Yeah, it does. It does. I mean. I've now that this would have been my first season, so then I would have obviously played you guys. Now this would have been the uh, fifth and sixth game. So um, yeah, now nah, you do you do see it because as a player, obviously more so as an attacker, you see you look at the style of play, you, you look at you know ways in which you know you could sort of see yourself fitting in that team. So yeah, you do have to play that into a lot of yeah. So now you've put pen to paper and obviously you've signed for us. Yeah. I imagine now your first focus is on uh, on Saturday for Grimsby and then hopefully uh, older shot in two weeks' time. Yeah. And you, you must be so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Obviously now it's all done. So I'm um, looking forward to finishing off the last pre-season game and then, yeah, looking to get flying throughout the season.